time when you have questions. David, sir. 14. 14 again. 255,670. Jack? What? Um, three. Three was 96, comma, zero, one, one, comma, two, four, one. Lexi? Well, what was Twenty-six dollars forty-two cents, Ava. Number nineteen. Nineteen and six sevenths. Left or address? I'm sorry, which one? Thirteen. Thirteen was seventy-five thousand six hundred, Katerina. Number fourteen? Yeah. Just a multiplication problem? You multiplied it twice just to see, Katarina, or you're assuming that you multiply right or right off the bat. Is that our assumption? Let's look here. So you have you have six nine one times three seven, right? Zero times all of those are zeros. I just put my zeros there just because it's less confusing for me. Once I get to the tenths place, I get to the seven, I have to start with the zero. So far so good, Katerina, you know? Yep. Seven times one is seven. Seven times nine is sixty-three. Three of the six. Six times seven is forty-two, plus six is forty-eight. I get to the hundreds place, I have to start with two zeros. Multiply through by the three. Three times one is three. Three times nine is twenty-seven. Three to two. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 2 is 20. Adding those up together, 0, 7, oh, that's right. 6, 5, 5, 2. Ben? I don't see how I got number 1. Number 1? Mm -hmm. The spin below is divided into five equal sides. What's the probability that the spin will stop on a number greater than three? So probability of a number greater than three. Oh, that's a little yes. sign. What numbers are greater than three? Ten. Four, two, and five. Two is not greater than three. Oh, four and five. Four and five. So you've got four and five. How many total things on the wheel are there? Five of them, and two of them are greater than two. Caleb. Number five was eight. Five was eight. Eleven. Number eleven was three thousand five hundred thirty-four. Sophia. Number nine. Let's see what we got here. The weather forecast states that the chance of rain is 80%. This means that rain is, well, here's the deal. If you look at a line here, here is 0%, this is 100%, and then right in the middle is 50%. 0% means it is absolutely not going to rain. 100% means it's absolutely positively going to rain. 50% means it's a 50-50. It's as likely as not. 80% falls somewhere here. If it's over here, that means it's likely to rain. What did you put? I mean, 80% is 80 out of 100 chances. That's, uh, that's a likely to rain. You're awful close to 100%. Okay. Uh, number nine, could I put, I wrote likely down instead of soon, so. Sure. Yeah. I'm guessing they gave you letters so you could use them. Ava? Here's number 19. 13 was 75,600. 75,600. <laughs> Other problems on there. Again, knowing that every problem that you got wrong would be a whole lot lower if you don't get a jacks. I don't think I got seven wrong. Problem number seven. 
what is the radius of this? Oh, the radius is eight centimeters. What's the diameter? What did you put? Four centimeters. Oh, take a look here. What is radius? What is diameter? Diameter goes all the way through the circle. Radius is only halfway. So there's eight centimeters on this side. There's eight centimeters on that side. That's a total of sixteen centimeters. Radius is half the diameter. Diameter is twice the radius. You just have to make sure you look at the circle there. Caleb. Number sixteen. You just want me to do a division problem for you then, eh? Yeah. You did it twice and still got the same thing? No. I'm guessing that's a no. How many times does 7 go into 8, sir? One. Once. You subtracted, brought down a 2. How many times does 7, I'm sorry, a 2. How many times does 7 go into 12, sir? Once. Once. That's 7. Subtract, I get a 5, I bring down. How many times does 7 go into 58? Uh, 10. Mm, well, if I do 7, you deal with 7, and I get 49, and I do my subtracting, I get 9. And I cannot have a number bigger than the number I was dividing by. So that means you should have picked 8 here. 56. Because 8 times 7 yeah. is 56. So you end up with two, and then you bring down the four. How many times is seven go to twenty-four? Three times. That's twenty-one. So you get three left over. Oh, mixed number, so I get three sevens. You see, Caleb? Yeah. You never, ever, ever, when you subtract, if you get a number bigger than your divisor, you could have done a bigger number that's going into it. Kind of the way she works. Other questions? We had a few there. Zero zip zilch.